All right, guys, a long time ago, before there was even social media, way back in the day, I had one of these, an all-wheel drive Turbo Eagle Talon. Seeing this thing, it's so crazy. Like, like I said, this is a 97, the most original t Talon I've ever seen in my life. So I couldn't pass up getting this thing. Like, I don't know, it's so, it's so weird to like see something. I think I had this thing when I was like, like 19 or 20. So this was like my first real sports car, I would say. <laughs> but I'm gonna just go ahead and just show you guys the car. I don't think half of you are gonna believe um, the condition of this thing. Of course it doesn't run, but I'm suspect it's something stupid. So we'll get into that stuff later. But in this video, I just wanna show you guys the car because I'm really, I don't know, I'm really excited about seeing this thing. It's pretty cool. Um, I'm still unsure if I'm gonna keep it yet or not, but we'll get into that later. But for now, I'm just gonna show you guys the car. But look at this thing. The only thing under the hood that is not original is that blow off valve, which I'm pretty sure the factory one was plastic, so they break. So that was basically just a repair item. And the spark plugs, spark plug wires. Stupid stuff like that. But I have the cover and everything this in the back of the car. I went ahead and pulled the, uh, the uh, timing cover just so I could see if the belt looked like it was in pretty decent shape, which it is. But the car's in, it's, I don't know, it's not in the shape that I was hoping it was in when I left to go look at the car. I pretty much agreed to this deal and then drove four hours to pick it up. I wasn't even, wasn't even going to argue. It's really hard to find the turbo all-wheel drive car in a manual. So I didn't argue too much. But this is pretty much the way I bought it. All I've done is pressure wash the outside of the car because it's been sitting, it was sitting under a tree. Um, but the interior is not, like I said, it's not the best of shape, but it's pretty clean. There's some dents and stuff. Um, I'm suspect that it has been in like some kind of little accidents, nothing too crazy, because this headlight is pretty new. And you can see this is pushed back just a wee bit, you know, compared to this side. Well, I said nothing crazy. There was only two things that really bother me. The rocker is like dented right there which really bums me out that's because of some idiot jacking the car up on the pinch weld and the jack slipped and crushed the rocker so don't jack your car up by the pinch weld people just don't <laughs> and i'm not sure if all the 97s 98s had the bumper that had the little little body trim bump right there or not but this one doesn't so i'm assuming that the rear bumper has been replaced with an older model um rear bumper cover so that bummed me out a little bit but has a little side molding and the front bumper so i'm probably just going to try to clean this thing up briefly look at it and see if i can get it running within reason and then just um i don't know try to sell it as much as i would like to keep this car i don't have the money i have too many other projects and stuff so i'd, I'd rather not start another project but i'm gonna if i try to sell this thing it's gonna be for an unreasonable price so if somebody wants it they're gonna have to pay for it um the way i look at it i'm not gonna starve if it doesn't sell so it's gonna be those things if somebody wants it bad enough they can pay in my asking price or it can just sit here but i'm hoping i can get it running um in the next few videos and stuff like that i'll you know we'll play we'll play around with it a little bit but you might not see much of it you might see a lot of it i don't know but they took the story of this thing was it belonged to a lady's husband he passed away but they had it pulled to a shop and it quit running they said it was showing like the computer fault when they tried to scan or put the scanner to it and these these cars are known they have like the older like block style fuses they're kind of known for these fuses like failing and it looks like the fuse is good but it's not um but they put a new fuse here so i'm assuming that they uh, checked that but they said they put another computer in here it crunk up and ran for a few seconds and then shut off so that's why another reason why i want to check <laughs> the timing belt but that's that's all good there's some suspect stuff like it won't even turn over by the starter but the clutch safety switch the little rubber grommets off of that but when i pressed up my finger it still wouldn't crank but you can see like this little this little sketchy wiring somebody's got going right here on the star look at that so if that's like the starter, 
so that would definitely be an issue so we're gonna do stupid stuff like fix this fix that little grommet I've already checked the fluids everything looks really good so it might not be a big deal like I said I'm not really gonna get into that in this video I just wanted to make a video and show the car because I bought it last night so I just want to make some video of it so I have a the way it is now and the way it is if I keep it if I don't keep it and it sucks man like and there's so many projects I want to do but you know I can only do so much uh, more financially than um, effort wise so <laughs> I have all the time and all the patience to do every project I've ever wanted to do I just don't have the finances I mean like I said like I said if you saw the which this video might come out before but you know we got an angle kit for the 350z now and I want to go drive and stuff like that I got the Corvette and all that other junk so I'm trying to I'm trying to focus so um, we'll see if this thing was a white car with a black top it would not go anywhere 100% I don't even care <laughs> I would keep a non-turbo if I could find a 97 98 Talon with it was white with a black top <laughs> but yeah my, the one I had back in the day it was pretty rowdy it had like um, bare brakes front and rear had 18 inch wheels it was lowered like full exhaust I think it was like a six bolt swap had a bunch of work done to it was, it was made of like 480 wheel so it was she was pretty rowdy especially for like way back then so um i probably would have kept that car if it wasn't so rusty that car was pretty rusty so that kind of motivated me to well that and it kept blowing up that motivated me to sell it too so <laughs> but this car here dude it's like it's spotless there's i mean just no normal little rust surface stuff but this thing is clean up underneath like really clean so my hang on to it, i don't know but that's gonna be it for now guys i just like i wanted to make some video with this car just because it's so unique to see them and it's so rare to see them so i wanted to make like some kind of video with it um there'll be a few more videos so we'll, we'll, we'll dive into it and try to get this thing running and stuff like that so we'll just have to see maybe i maybe i'll get lucky and the universe will allow me to keep it but for now guys that's it i'm going to end this with just some speed roll footage whatever you want to call the car um just so we get where she is and where it's going to end up because the next time you see it it may be running and surely it's going to be cleaned up so yeah first clean it up second see if i can get it running any information i find i will definitely share with you guys so make sure you stay tuned and everything all the views comments all that stuff is greatly appreciated guys so we'll see you on the next one